Um, there's still some more changes we're, we're expecting um, to make to this um, as we go towards our budgeting time. We're looking about adding our performance measures um, with that as well. And um, there's a few additional reports we're looking about adding. Um, for now, what we're sticking with is what has always been presented. And, and what I'd like to, in the future is to have a discussion on um, making sure the information we're providing is, is meaningful and um, is in tune and in line with what our, our goals, values, and, and missions are. But for now, this is um, where we're at. Dan, do you <coughs> want to click on, on just some of the others so you can just see all it, under each tab it, it has the reports for each person? <laughs> And, and they're all going to look the same, and they can do that. The idea behind this, too, is that if the city council has, um, we'll send a notice out every time this, these reports are updated. If you have any questions, you can, of course, ask during meetings. You can ask staff individually. Um, but to make this accessible and, and easy to, um, to view and to review. So um, we'll be happy to go through them tonight or um, to answer any questions about what we're doing or what the long-term goals and visions are. Oh, that was good. So those are online. I thought that was a neat idea. Um, I mean, just a matter of beating on the computer a little bit and see if it'll come up. Um, anything else, Keith? Um, that's all for right now, Mary. Okay. Do we have the ability, like in a year from now, to track hits? So we can see which reports are getting looked at, which ones people, like I would imagine the, the police, is that up there? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. That'll, be a, that'll be a popular <laughs> one, right? You just, you just but I would like to see at the end report. of a year what the, yep. the number of hits on those I'd are. have to look at with the people who do our website, um, yeah. the background part of it, to see if that's something that we can do. Are we, um, are we going to put something in the newsletter? Yeah, we're going to promote this, all, this as, okay. as well, and, and I think this is just uh, Alyssa can, can nod her head and express mm -hmm. her frustration privately. This is just kind of in staff as well. This is kind of a first stage of, okay. of, of basically looking to provide more data and information. And, and um, so I hope to continue to roll out um, these kind of ideas, but this has been something we've been working on and, and wanted to present. I know this has gone back over the last year, but we're looking about to continue to expand back so the data is easy and accessible um, to look at and review. Okay. I just wanted to make a compliment real fact or real, real quick because um, I remember the old website, and this is phenomenal. <laughs> this is great. Like it just keeps getting better. It's great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's good. Um, good. Yeah, Something staff good deserves a lot of credit for that. They each have kind of their own um, oversight of their of their websites and have done a good job of, I think, you know, we've been trying more and more to make, you know, we, the anticipation we expect is more and more people want, don't want to talk to us. Um, they want to go online and find the information they want to see. So um, that has been our, our goal. And, and Alyssa deserves a lot of credit. She spent uh, a lot of time uh, working through a lot of this and has been the person that I annoy all the time, so. Okay. All right. Under business from the chair, uh, we have a chance to, I'm going to call it shadowing different groups. Um, we haven't always been very careful about asking for reports. Uh, what did you see at so-and-so? What did you see at the Parks Board meeting or the Planning Commission? Or uh, did anyone go to the school board meetings? Um, or maybe the chamber, chamber meetings? But there's, uh, there's a chance to do that. And it's just a matter of where, where your interest lies. Um, I go to the county commissioner meetings. Those are the second Tuesday of each month up at the Covered Bridge Cafe. Um, those are actually really pretty good meetings. Um, there's just a lot of good information there. But if anyone, maybe for next meeting, if anyone would like to um, say wanna, wants to go to, need more meetings in your life, needs to go to a school board meeting once a month or the Parks Board or Planning Commission or maybe there's some other groups that uh, have an effect. We're affecting them, they're affecting us. I think I'd like to go um, or start going to um, the fire, fire district board meetings and uh, try to maintain and, and forge uh, 
better relationships with those folks. We're all in this together. So something to think about for next meeting. And business from the council. Mr. Mayor, yes. if I would. Uh, the last meeting, last council meeting, and as well as this council meeting, uh, what you see is the order of business uh, typically runs longer with the public hearings and it's my belief that uh, the folks that are here for a couple minutes uh, to be addressed should be moved up in the order of business and so I asked Keith that we could do that last after the last meeting and he said that's set by resolution 809 and the rules of the state and city council so I looked at that a little closely I shared my thoughts with Paige uh, I'd like the council to uh, or I'd like the direct staff to bring resolution 09 back before us so we can look how the order of business is conducted for us and maybe change that a little bit. I don't think it's uh, quite fair for the folks that are here for five minutes for an appointment or a grant to, re to receive a grant have to sit here through the entire open uh, public hearing. So I'd like to have direct staff to bring the resolution 809 back before us um, to evaluate. And in doing so, um, I think it's an opportunity for us to look at the rules of the state and city council, which is also within that uh, resolution. Um, I think there's some things that we can do to address uh, maybe conduct, uh, behavior, etc. So I'd, I'd like the direct staff to bring resolution 809 back as a future agenda item. Um, we'll be happy to do that. We'll put it on the agenda for a, a work session and we'll pull that up and, and look at some recommendations and some possible changes and, and get some feedback and then try to bring it forward to a future council meeting. So All right. Is there, any, is there any other business from the council? One more, one more statement, Mr. Mayor. Go ahead. Uh, tonight we uh, nominated Ralph Lew I'm sorry. Richard. <laughs> What was I going to say? Richard. Richard Lewis. Sorry. Sorry. I'm thinking of Ralph. To the Planning Commission. Richard, I got to tell you, uh, there's no one else out there in this community that I know that puts so much time and effort into volunteerism. And I got to tell you, thank you for all that you do for this community. Mm -hmm. uh, if there was an award for Volunteer of the Year, you got my, you got my vote. <laughs> Here you go. Check. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Richard, from all of us. Um, anything else from the council? Future agenda items, then, for February 4th, Mill Creek concept plan presentation, Mill Creek Park concept plan, recycling award presentation by Republic Services, downtown parking. And if there's nothing else, we're done. <laughs>